How's it going you guys? My name is Sketchius and in this video I'm going to be discussing with you guys whether or not Cheat Engine is a virus. And I'll also be teaching you how to install it and use it on a few games. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run you through the download. So as you can see, when you come to CheatEngine.org, you're going to see this. And it's going to say Download Cheat Engine 6.8.2. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see this right here. And I know it's going to look very fishy. But, you know, it's going to show the search manager. You can just click on Skip to Download instead, rather than adding that on there. Because that is a virus. Anyway, so now you're just going to go ahead and name this whatever you want to. If you have that setting enabled in your browser, um, yours is probably just going to automatically start downloading. But I'm going to name it just Cheat Engine. Oopsies. Uh, cheat Engine. I'm really toast, really slow typer. I'm sorry. Cheat Engine Setup. Just like that. All right. And now, uh, as you can see, it's taking a second to download it because it's... um it might actually end up recognizing it as a virus. So, we're going to see. Alright, bam. So, as you can see, it finished. So, it didn't recognize it as a virus. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and close that. You're going to want to go to your uh, Windows settings. And you're going to go to Update and Security. You're going to go to Windows Defender, uh, open Defender Security Center. Um, I'm going to do Virus and Threat Protection. Go to Protection Settings. And uh, we can add exclusions here. But um, we don't really need to do that just yet. But if you have problems, then you can go ahead and add an exclusion. And basically, what that does is it allows it so you can install it without it you know, automatically deleting it. Anyway, so I'm just going to go to downloads, I'll go to setups, and now we're going to find the cheat engine setup, which will be right here. Go ahead and run it. Alright, click next. I accept the agreement. Next, next, next. And that's about it. Now after this, it's probably going to ask you if you want to install this right here. It says install now, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're going to click no thanks. Then click next. And that's it. So now when it's done, you're going to see everything here. Location, that's normal. Start menu folder, normal. Additional tasks, it's going to create a desktop icon and check for new uh, versions. Under additional tasks, if you see it's going to install anything else, then you might need to go back and change that if possible. But as you can see, it's not trying to install anything else, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on install. And then I will test it out on Clicker Heroes. Now, if I were to go onto Windows Security Center, or if I were to go to Malwarebytes and scan it, it would recognize it as a virus, but like I said, um, dis I'll discuss it. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and try this out on Clicker Heroes. Alright, so we are now in Clicker Heroes, as you can see right here, and I'm going to hard reset my settings just for the sake of this video. So here we are in the game. And basically using Cheat Engine is pretty simple. The first thing you're going to do is to get it to work, you're going to click on this thing up here. You can click on Applications or you can click on Processes, but I like to use Processes. Find the process you're looking for. So for me, I'm looking for Clicker, Her Clicker Heroes. Now click Open. Now for this game in particular, for what I'm looking to do, I'm going to have to change the value byte to value type to double, but just for this video or just for this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna you know speed through this. I'm gonna go ahead and kill all these dudes. Shouldn't take me too long. All right, let me go ahead and hire her, and we will do our first scan of one. Bam! So as you can see, we're gonna see all of these. Um, our main goal is to get it is to single it down until we only get like one value. Now let's go ahead and try leveling her up again. Move on to the next level. Alright, bam. So now she is level 2. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 2. But this time we're going to click next scan. Alright. And I imagine that this is the value right here since it's just a 2. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. Let's bring it down. 
And here, as you can see, we have this. I'm going to double click underneath value, and it's going to ask me what I want to change it to. I'm going to change it to 1 million. And that does not seem to work. So it did not change her level. So we're going to keep searching. Yep. All right, well, let's uh, level her up to level 3, I suppose. All right, bam, level three. So let's go ahead, hit up number three, next scan. As you can see, we got two values here for number three, so any one of those could be it, but I'm just gonna try it one more time. All right, bam, level her up. And they these both just changed to four, meaning uh, either one of these will work. So I'm just gonna control click both of these and bring them down. I'm gonna change just one of them to one million and see which one works. So one, zero, 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 zero. And that just changed her level just like that. All right, so I can just go ahead and delete the bottom one right here. And so, yeah, this is basically how Cheat Engine works. You can use it to cheat on just about any game. And, yeah, that's about it. It's really simple and easy to use. Okay, so as you saw, I was able to install it and use it on a game with no problem. However, if I were to go on to, say, Malware Bytes or even Windows Security Center, and I did a scan of my computer, one of the virus results that would show up would actually be Cheat Engine. Well, why does it do that? Well, the answer is actually very simple. That's because Cheat Engine is made to alter lines of code within programs and perhaps even add new lines of code in the programs, which is also what viruses are designed to do. And since Cheat Engine isn't, you know, it's not an official Windows Microsoft thing, your computer is going to recognize it as a virus because it's just something you downloaded that has the ability to change lines of code which you know shouldn't be able to do that so you know the, the easy answer is no cheat engine is not a virus although when you're going through the installation it's going to ask you to install that extra software which obviously you want to prompt out of and yeah that's it so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll see you all in the next one peace out See you.